In this video, we're going to do an unboxing of the new release from Viavision, the limited edition release of Grindhouse, the Robert Rodriguez Quentin Tarantino classic. We're going to get started right after this. Welcome back to Pops Movie Dungeon. <laughs> How's it going everybody and welcome back to Pops Movie Dungeon. So this is going to be a fast unboxing. I got this in from Viavision and that is going to be um, the new Grindhouse release. Now this is a limited release that they put out and the really good thing about this release here is this has the true theatrical release on it. Remember I seen this in theaters back in the day in 2007. Uh, it was a great experience, it really was. Like so you walk in the theater, you sit down and you get the true Grindhouse experience. You get the opening trailers, you know all the great trailers, Thanksgiving, Machete, all that shit. You get like the R-rated restricted warning. Like the old 70s style grindhousey shit. It was just a really cool experience. And it was a double feature. You know, so I, I really hadn't seen a whole lot of double features in theaters. I mean, the 70s early grindhouse stuff was kind of before my time. But um, it was really great to go to a theater and experience this in the true theatrical experience. The first release of this movie, at least the first release that I owned, was this one here. This is the old Blu-ray that was released in 2010. And I know on this one here, you also get that theatrical experience where it has, you know, the first movie, the second movie, all blended together with the trailers, like a double feature, the same way you experienced in theaters. And now, be careful because it was a re-release of this. This came out in 2010, and um, this is the slipcover that you got with it. So there's the inside of the open up slipcover there. What I found out in my research is that this was re-released quite a few years later, I think around 2018, something like that. And you get the same artwork, the way I understand. But you have to be careful because this is what you get here. This is the 2010 release. Okay, let me take this little insert out here. You get two different discs, okay? On the first disc, um, you're gonna get the um, actual theatrical release, and it's gonna look like that. And on the second disc, you're gonna get just a disc of special features. If you go out and buy this release now, you know, say um, secondhand or from Amazon maybe, if it's still available, I don't know. When you open it up, you're gonna see two discs. One disc is gonna be Planet Terror, and the other disc is going to be death proof. Okay, it's not going to be just a streamline both movies together. And, you, and if you've ever experienced this movie, the way it was done in theaters when it originally came out, it's a totally different experience. I really enjoy it better that way. So um, I'm very glad I do have this release. So that being said, I probably didn't need to buy this one from Vision, but I am such a huge fan of this movie. And so um, you know, this here, you get this really nice lenticular um, hard box. You know, it's a really nice, really nice outer box here. We'll get it open in just a minute. So I'll let you guys enjoy that for a minute. But before we get to that, um, I just recently picked up these two releases here. Of course, I got these great slip covers. I just did a video on this yesterday. My buddy Sasha, his channel name is called Sexy Monkey. Um, I'll try to put his link down below. I, um, I just did a video on these yesterday. And um, like I said, these are the slips he made for me for these two great movies. And so I didn't have the individual releases. So I did, you know, I got these dirt cheap off of, um, off of Amazon. So th this here is the, um, I don't know what year this was released here, but um, this is just the, the movie of Death Proof. And of course, I also got just the, the standalone movie of Planet Terror. These do have quite a few special features. You know, there's the, there's the Planet Terror there on the back. You guys can see that I'm going to go through all of them. But you get a fair amount of features on this. The same thing with, um, with Death Proof. There's a fair amount of features. But on this here, you only get the extended and unrated cut. Um, and on this release from 2010, you know, like I said, you get the, the theatrical version on this. And there's also quite a few features on the back. Neither one of these past releases are really hurting as far as special features go. But this here is one I wanted to get. You know, like I said, this is a limited edition release. I love the packaging. I was a big fan of that lenticular slip. So with, um, without any further ado, let's get this thing busted open. And let's see what we get on the inside there. So anybody that watches my channel, they know that I'm not a very big fan of this company. Just because of all that bullshit with the saw set. But um, I used to buy all the, all the imprint stuff. And now I just kind of pick and choose and buy the shit that I want. But they keep on putting out this great shit. So I have to give it to them. They are putting out some really good releases. So as much as I don't want to support the company, if they put out some, you know, some of my favorite films, something that I'm interested in, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick my toe back in that pool again. Let me stop running my mouth here and get this thing open here. All right, so I got the plastic off here, and there's your J card. And it looks like all the special features that were back on the 2010 release and also on the re-release of the individual films are all included on here. 
when I was doing my research, I didn't see anything saying new scan or anything about a new scan of the movie. So there's nothing telling me this is a new scan. If anybody knows, please let me know down below. But like, this thing here is absolutely loaded. I mean, any special feature that has been released so far for, the, for these films, you're going to find on here. So maybe you guys can, can pause and take a look at that. But you gotta, you got to ask some special features. So as far as the packaging goes, we're just going to go around this thing real fast. And there's your front again. That really cool slip. And there's your spine. And there's the back. The man himself. Stuntman Mike. And we're going to... It's a side-loading box. And of course you get everybody's favorite. You get some R cards. But they are done really well. And it's a nice little sleeve. So we'll go through these real fast. Of course you got Stuntman Mike himself. One of the chicks there. Nice shot of Josh Brolin there. There's the death, the death proof car. They feel like actual pictures. They're nice and glossy. So, I'll let you guys take a look at that just for those that care. That's a cool shot of the machine gun girl. I don't remember her name. And there's a shot of Bruce Willis. Hope he's doing well. Um,. But yeah, you know, like I said, art cards, they are what they are. You know, if I'm going to get art cards, I do appreciate they put them in this nice... I do appreciate they put them in this nice sleeve. That's pretty cool. Now, looking at the disc, you get the same artwork on the inside. That's kind of a bummer. So that's the same artwork as the um, 2010 um, theatrical version that I got. And there's a shot of the back. It's just special features. This does say Region B on the back. But I can let you know that I have almost every one of the imprint titles. They all say Region B. They all play fine on my regular player. So be warned, it, is, it does say Region B, but I have yet to come across an imprint film that does not play on, on, my, on my player here in the United States. So I believe this will be fine. I'm going to play it on, on my regular player. If for some reason um, it gives me any problems, I'll be sure to let you guys know. So like I said, it's the same artwork. I, thought, I do wish they had gave us some, some different inside artwork. That's kind of a bummer. But you get... Um, some inside artwork there. So, yeah, that's a little lazy. I do feel like that, you know, with a release like this, they should have gave us some new work on the inside. But this is what it is. But this is a four disc set. Um, on the first disc, you're gonna get the theatrical version. This is the best way to watch the movie, like I was saying. On the second disc here, you're gonna get the, the extended version of Planet Terror. There's your disc art. And on the third disc is going to be the extended version of Death Proof. Like I said, I do believe these are the same scans we've already we've always had. I don't think it's anything new. If I find anything different, I'll be sure to let y'all know. And then you get a bonus feature disc. It's gonna you're gonna find most of your most of your bonus features on here. Now, but yeah, this is a pretty solid box. I mean, it's not very not very fragile. It's um. Definitely pop knock approved, but um, guys, that's pretty much it. You know, like I said, um, it looks to me like all the features that they have done on the different releases over the years, they just thrown all those features on this disc here. I don't think there's anything new. Um, like I said, if I if I go once I actually pop this disc in, which I'm gonna do tonight, if I actually see anything new or different that was not on these other discs, I will kind of I will probably just I'll list that in the comments down below and I'll update you guys. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. I just want to get on here. And go over this release. Now, this is a numbered release. Now, it did say, it did say whatever in the, in the um and all the um, special features that this is supposed to be a um a limited two thousand copies, and it said it was supposed to be a numbered release. But I'd be damned if I see a number anywhere on this thing. Uh, I know I'm half-ass blind, but. There is no number anywhere on this damn thing. So after I finished the video, I had to come back and cut this back in. I told you this was limited to 2000 and it was supposed to be numbered. I couldn't find the number for anything. I ain't never seen it done this way before. But if you look down here in the bottom, this is the J card that came with it. The actual number is on, is on the back of the J card. Never seen it, never seen it done that way before. You know, usually it's gonna be on the bottom of the release or something like that. So you guys that don't keep your J cards and throw your J cards away if you give a shit about a numbered um, collection, 
Um, you may want to hang on to this J card because the number is actually on the back of the J card, which I think is kind of weird. I know there's a lot of people that actually keep these. I usually just kind of fold them up and stick them inside. But this one here, I probably will keep on the release itself. So um, just be warned, if you give a shit about the number, it's on the J card. Never seen it done that way before. Kind of weird. Like I said, Grindhouse, if you guys are not super fans of this movie, if you if you already got the other releases of this, you probably don't need this. Um, I pretty much got this because I really love the films. I really love this packaging. And also, guys, I'm kind of a fucking nutbag. So that is what it is. I um, hope you guys enjoy this unboxing. I'll be back soon with some more videos. You guys have a great evening, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.